phase of a football team that benefits the most from an open date in the schedule is the running game because much of its success is determined by timing, rhythm, and repetition. Joe Paterno had been pleased by the progress of Tony Saka and the Lion aerial attack through the first three ball games. However, he felt that the ground game needed to improve, and improve they did. Temple defenders must have thought they were struck with double vision as Penn State tailbacks Leroy Thompson and Gary Brown roared out of the gate for a combined 73 yards in the opening period of play. And the Nittany Lion defense gave notice early that the Temple offense would find yardage hard to come by on this afternoon as they set out to extend their streak of scoreless quarters. It was a beautiful day for homecoming in State College, and here with the opening kickoff are Bill Zimfer and George Paterno. Right kickoff. There we go. This is a deep, low kick. It goes into the end zone to Gary Brown. He's two yards deep, but he'll come out to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. Brown breaks away. He's at the 25, at the 30. Brown to the 35, to the 40. Cuts back at the 45. He's to midfield. Gary Brown to the 40, down to the 35, and 30 of Temple. To the 25, 20, and finally taken down at the 18-yard line. Keita Chris Spina was there to make the tackle. Well, Bill, that was absolutely a sensational run. He delayed coming out of the end zone. He wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He picked up a couple of blocks. In fact, Thompson threw one of the key blocks. He came up the gut on the wedge, broke it out to the right. And he, as he headed for the sidelines, a couple of te Temple defenders headed him off, switched the ball in his hands, cut back to his left, and they're in scoring position. It was just, it was a deep kick. I didn't think... He was going to kick it that deep. I had to back up a little bit, and I was in the end zone. I, at first, I wasn't going to bring it out, but then Leroy gave me the go-ahead, so I brought it out and uh, got a nice, some nice blocks from the people up front, and you know we split it. Now Smith in motion to the left. Saka hands off to Thompson on first down, right up the middle, and he's down to the 10-yard line. So Leroy Thompson with a good gainer on first and 10, and Penn State down to the 10-yard line there. Greg Liberty, the line back to the right side wing. Let's see if he goes in motion. Yep. As he turns around and heads back to the right. Here is the handoff to Gash again, stacked up at the... Oh, they say he is in for the touchdown. They put the fullback in, and uh, Neil, the other fullback in, went in motion, came back, went the other way, and he went against the grain and, and really got in there nice and low and tough, and that's what you have to do. After the score, the Temple offense took over with their first possession of the game, but the Owls were unable to move the ball as Penn State's defense took control, continuing where it left off in the shutout of Rutgers. They dominated the line of scrimmage all day long and for the second straight game would not allow an offensive touchdown. Once again, the Lions were on the offensive. Second down play, the pit back to Thompson again, follows a block by Brzezinczyk, he's to the 15, the 20, and out to the 25-yard line. Good gainer, and a first down for Penn State at the 25. Santo Stevens and Kenyatta Rush combine on the tackle. That time Temple, they put out... Terry Smith, he's got some room. He's to the 30, to the 25, the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Terry Smith takes it in from 33 yards out. What a run. You know, that was absolutely a beautiful thing. Crespino had him. The Crespino, the cornerback, came up with a quick scream from a slot. The other wide receiver cleared out, and Smith just slowed down a bit, and what a move he put on Crespino. Totally faked him out of his shoes, went up to the inside and made a touchdown out of it. It's a Terry Smith alone wide out in motion from left to right and the pitch back to Leroy Thompson off the right side he bounces out to the 20 is to the 25 and 27 before he is knocked out of bounds good deep good offensive play and it's down to David Daniels from 27 yards out Bill we've been waiting for it all year it was an automatic an audible they went to man to man but the great thing that Saka did, which he hasn't done before, he got the ball nice and high, allowed Daniels to run under it. He has good speed. We tell us some people last night, touchdown. Now they rolled the corners up and played man-to-man, -man and uh, just uh, it made it easy pass for us. Dave ran right by the guy and uh, you know, ran right underneath the ball. The Lions were making it look easy, scoring on all three possessions. But this time when Temple got the ball, they were able to move. However, it was not the Al offense as much as it was the Nittany Lion defense that moved them. Penalties such as this pass interference put Temple in scoring position. Lone wide out is Hornbaker to the right side. And here is the play action. Baker is slammed as he got the ball off and it's intercepted by Jim Dater. Dater picked the ball off. Baker was nailed by Reggie Gibbons. 
What a hit. Rolling left, now he runs. He's to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Saka still going, 45, 40. Tony Saka still going. Down to the 30, 25, and dragged down at the 20-yard line. What a scramble by Tony Saka. He was pulled down by Greg Liberty way downfield. And how about his speed? This is what we... Here's the handoff to Gary Brown, who bounces to the outside to the left. He's to the 15 and down to the 12-yard line. Aaron Denton was there to drive him out of bounds. LaBarca in motion to the right side. Saka hands off on the counter to Brown. Follows Gash. He's at the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Driven out of bounds by Fenwick. But a first down for Penn State. They'll have a first and goal inside the Temple 10. Coaches would tell you that... On first down. First and goal. The handoff to Brown. Stutter steps at the 5 and is down to the 2 as Constantatos pulled him down after he made a nifty move at the 5-yard line. The right mm -hmm. side wing. Gash and Thompson in the backfield. The handoff to Thompson. Breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Does he get in for the touchdown? Yes. Touchdown. Penn State. Gary Brown and Leroy Thompson alternated all day long as both runners surpassed the 100-yard mark. This drive showed just how well Penn State balanced their running attack. Leroy Thompson just made that score on the field. Now to get their offense in gear. Four wide men here, the lone setback, Conrad Swanson, and he takes the handoff from Baker. Side steps at the line of scrimmage, gets to the 20, heads outside to the 25. Ivory Gethers pulls him down at the 28, and another flag is down. We might have another face mask call. Mark Ravati. Doug Helkowski, who is having a fantastic year punting the ball, will kick it away for Penn State. A lot of pressure on him, and it's blocked. The kick is blocked. It bounces back into the end zone. It is picked up by Roman Hale, and he trots in for the touchdown. Well, I don't, I don't call that a break. I, I said there was some strategy involved. Uh, I, I know they wanted to get a shot to get some points up. They showed block all the way, and they came right up in the inside again, and Penn State has been vulnerable to that. With a little help, the Owls get on the scoreboard, and the Nittany Lion offense returns to work. Penn State operating from their own 39 on first down. The handoff to Gary Brown, who cups it inside the block and gets out to the 49-yard line for a gain of 10 yards on the play. Greg Liberty hung on for the tackle. That'd be short yardage for Penn State. Saka hands off to Leroy Thompson. Stutter step of the line of scrimmage. Gets away from Liberty, and he's down to the 40 and down to the 36-yard line before the pursuit can catch up. O'Neal Allen from the secondary was there to finally polish him off, but a good gainer by Thompson. That's exactly the same play. The only difference is... The backfield behind Saka with Gash and Thompson. Hand off to Thompson, sweeping to the right side. He's to the 35, the 30, and down to the 29. Santos Stevens was hanging on all the way, and O'Neal Allen was there to finish him off at the end. Once again, the potent rushing tandem of Brown and Thompson moves Penn State into scoring position as a breakthrough is achieved. Greg Fayette connects on Penn State's first field goal of the year. Following the score, the Lion defense came up with some big plays, something that was lacking in earlier weeks. First, a sack by Gianetti. Then a Willie Thomas interception, one of four on the day for Penn State, compared with the total of one in their first three games. Thompson and Gash in the backfield in a split set behind Saka. Tony Saka straight back to pass, a four-man rush by Temple. He throws underneath to Leroy Thompson, who takes it out to the 48-yard line. It is a first down for Penn State at their own 49. Quick snap, and Saka's back to pass. Again, throws underneath to Leroy Thompson. He's at the 40, at the 35, and down to the 33. Tony Saka, 6 out of 10 in the first half for 91 yards. And he's back to pass on his third down play. Looking, has time loops down the middle. It is intercepted at the 10-yard line by Santos Stevens. Going for Rick Sales, I believe, but in, uh, intercepted by Santos Stevens, and Temple's got the ball with six seconds to go till half. Penn State's offense was able to control the ball on the ground while the defense stifled the Temple attack. And as the second quarter came to a close, the lead was impressive. Against Temple, all of that would change as the offense continued the momentum and registered its first third period score of the year. The Penn State defense would see its string of shutout stanzas halted but would adequately deliver the knockout punch on Jerry Burns Owls in this 15-minute round. First down for the Owls. Three wide men to the left side. Swanson on the left side wing, but on first down, they hand it off to Leon Brown, who runs the right side, cuts it back up the middle. Ball did come out of there, but bounced right back into the hands of Leon Brown. He picked up seven yards on the play, and Penn State knocked him down after a short game, well, mid-range gain, and they've got a second. Day, Temple's offense moved the ball without the generosity of Penn State's defense, and this right field goal made the score 31 That quick one. 
Baca looking to pass on first and ten. Throws to the outside. Complete to Terry Smith. Gary Mobley hangs on to make the stop at the 11-yard line. That's another Penn State first down. That's beautiful offensive football. Single coverage, zone coverage. The eye takes the handoff from Saka. Cuts back. He's at the five. He's in for the touchdown. Nifty running by Gary Brown. That's the personification of quick feet. He made three moves on a short run. He saw it all the way, started inside, then he was going to go outside as the defense tried to go outside to shut him off, broke it back to the inside, then broke back out to the outside, took it in for the touchdown. He's looking great. And the amazing thing was I don't think anybody anybody laid a hand on I felt Thompson again off right tackle has a seam he's out to the 20 out to the 24 yard line and dragged down at the 24 yard line by Eric Fenwick good run again by Leroy Thompson as he continues to pile up the yardage well he rolls left looks throws has David Daniels and hits him at the 35 Daniels makes a move heading across the field at the 40 he's to the 44 yard line before he has belted down again Fenwick trailed the play and made the stop Fenwick also shaking up ball in the play from left to right, Bill hands off to Gary Brown, picks a hole straight up the middle. He's out to midfield as Gary Brown just churns out the yardage again, and he's closing in on 100 yards. O'Neill Allen and Tim Hull combining on the tackle. Gain of six. Bill back to pass, has time, throws over the middle. It's complete to Rosa. Rosa's at the 35, the 30, 25, 20, and taken down at the 20-yard line by Tony Schmitz. But what a pass by Tom Bill and a good catch by Rosa. Oh, that was a great throw. I, I just can't say enough about that throw. He stayed in the pocket. He waited for Rose to come right to left to uh, uh, separate himself from the defensive back. And when he got open, he drilled it in. That was a great throw. Leroy Thompson is the lone setback. Smith to the right, Rosa to the left. The handoff to Leroy, who bounces back to the left side and gets down to the 16-yard line. Bill, back to pass, run, no, he runs the draw play to Gary Brown, breaks the tackle, and gets down to the 15-yard line, still five yards short of the first down. James Harris made the tackle for Temple, and Penn State will bring on the kicking unit. But I think that put the drive stalled. It's good news for Penn State as Greg Fayak nails this field goal, his second on the day in as many attempts. When Temple regained, has now gone eight consecutive quarters without yielding a touchdown. Penn State will have to continue this staunch defensive play if they hope to finish strong against their difficult remaining schedule. Wide outs spread all over the place. Four of them. Richardson back to pass. Scrambles up in the pocket and fires down the middle. It is picked off by Darren Perry. He's at the 40-yard line and has really delivered a shot there by Drayton. And it'll be Penn State ball. You know, substitutions in the game. They go with the two tight end set, the lone wide out to the near side, and Nardalillo pitches back to Hammonds. Hammonds at the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. He's got enough for the first down. Gary Mobley, the cornerback, came up to seal him off and push him out, but that's another Penn State first down. And on first down, Nardalillo hands off to Brian Curley this time, who goes to the weak side and picks his way down to the 13-yard line for a gain of five on the play. And Nardalillo hands off again. This one to Hammonds. Hammonds at the 10. Breaks to the 5. He's in for the touchdown. Shelly Hammonds on a 13-yard run. Well, I said Billy does run a little bit like Brown. Day ended for the Temple Owls as Penn State enjoyed its most complete game of the year. And the Lions up their season mark to 2-2 two and two with a dominating win over Temple. This is Orange Men. Saturday's clash at Beaver Stadium will be the last in a long-standing series. The Orangemen and their followers are upset about being dropped from Penn State's schedule and would like nothing more than to end the series with a victory. I For Bill Zimfer and George Paterno, I'm Todd Blackledge. Join us again next week as the Nittany Lions face the Syracuse Orangemen as the Penn State football story continues.